first journal entry. In the past three days, I have struggled to get supplies and have been attacked in the night by frightening creatures. It has come to my attention that my journey northward may end before I arrive at my destination. I used to think nothing about ending the lives of insects as I walked. To me, it has always been the way of things. Some live, others die. However, that was before I factored my own existence into that same principle. Thus, I am keeping this journal for two reasons. The first is so I may share my adventures with others once I arrive safely at my home. The other is if I am no longer able to share them myself. Day 4 After what seemed like an endless stretch of water, I encounter a large mountainside. Anchoring my boat, I climb the mountain in order to survey the landscape. The views are astounding. I've never seen land form naturally like this before. I spend the rest of my day constructing a shelter before nightfall. It isn't much to look at, but it should allow me a full night's sleep. Even though I have not slept in three days, and my body is sore from rowing, I take one last view of the odd mountain in the distance. It was like a giant apple that someone had bitten and tossed aside. Day 5 This morning I saw a group of creatures hiding in the darkness at the mouth of a cave. It seems like they dislike sunlight, for they lurk in the shadows, waiting for either night to fall or a curious traveler to wander by. I nearly fell into a hole today as I explored the mountaintop. Better watch my step, for these hills are most likely hollow inside. I do not know what may lurk inside them, nor do I wish to. The landscape seems random. No consistent patterns one might expect. It is both confusing and exciting for the same reason. I never know what I'm going to find. The celestial cycles are the only consistent thing around here, and I continue to find them extraordinary. Those and the monster attacks. As I write this entry in the safety of my shelter, I can hear the bones clatter as they search for me. I will keep the windows sealed off tonight. Day 6. Search the surrounding hills for iron today. Of course, there is none to be found, and I knew I needed to dig deeper before I found any. Instead, I found a better vantage point to survey my surroundings as well as a hole in the hills that gave a perfect view to see the mountain in the distance. I was planning on searching the valley next, but was reminded of my wood shortage when I saw the trees in the distance. Tomorrow morning, I will sail across the channel and leave these serene mountains behind. Saw more creepers today. They were guarding open caves that would otherwise have looked inviting. Settling for some wood in a short break, I waited until they were gone before venturing into their territory. The sun is setting once again. Something about the twilight hours makes these mountains come alive, in more ways than the ever-persistent creatures who have decided to leave me alone tonight. Tomorrow I will leave Crom's Mountain, for every step I take brings me closer to home. But now I also feel like there is a serenity that can only be found in the silence of mountains and waters untouched by man. I am growing fonder of these lapses where I do not have to worry about my struggle for survival and this journal helps keep my mind sharp for the dangers I am sure to encounter.